Despite the fact that in vitro fertilization is under attack in Alabama, more and more women are opting to freeze their eggs with the hopes of having children down the road. Since the technology went out of the experimental phase in 2012, there has been a 400% increase in the number of people doing it. WRAL investigates Sarah Kruger looks at the growing trend in the triangle and how it's even affecting the workplace. This is Vivian. She's six months old. Melanie Bradshaw is a new mom of two. <laughs> now in her 40s, it's a title she says is only possible because she decided to freeze her eggs roughly 12 years ago. When I was 34, going through a separation, um, knew I wasn't uh, going to start a family anytime soon. Bradshaw was one of the early ones to take advantage of what was then a new technology. Years later, she married the love of her life, and they used the frozen eggs to grow their family. I'm going to try not to be emotional, but uh, I was really worried that I would not have that, that, um, um, that dream of mine. Now, the popularity of egg freezing locally and nationally is skyrocketing. The latest numbers show an increase of more than 30 percent in egg freezing cycles. In the last decade, Shady Grove Fertility, where Bradshaw happens to work, has seen an 83 percent surge in its egg freezing program. It allows women an open door. Leah Bressler is a doctor at Shady Grove's carry office. It combines science, heart, and a little bit of magic and was sold. It's the best job in the world. Dr. Bressler says egg freezing is most successful when done between the ages of 25 and 35 and is not as invasive as you might think. It involves injections for about two weeks and regular ultrasounds leading up to the retrieval. The egg retrieval procedure involves um, being put to sleep, so that is one day you need to take completely off work. Um, but my patients generally work every other day of the process, go back to work the next day. Women, she says, are motivated to do this for a variety of reasons. As they grow older and have not yet found the right partner, or if they want to delay children while they focus on their jobs. I think egg freezing is an important mile marker in the women's movement. Increasingly, big companies like Amazon, Walmart, Google, and Starbucks are offering to cover part or all of the cost, which is typically in the neighborhood of $15,000. I have actually done research on female-friendly benefits. Paige Wiemay, a professor at UNC who studies labor economics and finance, explains women comprise a bigger share of the workforce than ever before. And companies need to do all they can to attract them. How effective is it as a recruiting tool? It is one tool. Um, so firms are certainly going to need to offer more than this. And I think particularly among large firms that are attracting sort of top talent, things like egg freezing are probably going to become table stakes relatively soon. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation, 15 states require insurers to cover some infertility services. Two states require insurers to offer at least one plan that covers infertility procedures. The other 33, including North Carolina, have no insurance mandates about infertility services. Bradshaw hopes egg freezing will become more accessible. So to have this uh, ability to, to do this for myself is, you know, priceless. And look, look at the health. <laughs> Sarah Kruger, WRAL News. Oh, what a sweet family mm -hmm. she has. And that's what it's all about, right? It's just a yeah. lifeline for so many couples yeah. who are trying to have family and can't do it naturally. Mm -hmm. And she said, look what I have. Yep. That's the bottom line. Yep. Oh, yeah.